But uh, having, having left further up the Salem Cove, mm -hmm. coming down the Delaware River, they were trying to come seven miles below Alloway Creek because it was a better um, strategic point, especially if you can be in the cover of darkness, no moons. Um, Chuck Koblenz, who's one of our local historians, has been doing a little bit of research matching tidal tables and weather reports because they did have meteorological re records. And I think what you'll find, you know, is that you had moonless nights, people coming, but if you're seen or heard, they would muffle your oars so that you could paddle um, quietly up the area because if you can actually be heard, sound travels over the marsh, you blow your cover, and then the militia, which is much greater than what you have, could do you in. Um, people, they arrive much later than they expect, so instead of having a 10 o'clock uh, attack, they arrive about 5 in the morning, so people have cold, wet feet, They're bringing planks to cross the bridge, and some of the loyalists here in the area are assisting the British um, crossing crossing the marsh, you know, and who are they bringing? Their property. Um, basically, there's a story that there's a gentleman named Nicholson's Frank, who's one of the slaves, and he knows the shortcuts through the marsh, you know, and, and that's really kind of interesting, because you won't have access to the boats or the horses mm -hmm. that somebody who has more money would, so you'd go at low tide, crossing, much, much easier way to go, um, but in the weather conditions it wasn't. So they surround the house, gain entrance, um, and bayonet those men that are there, and then leave and report back to Salem. So there would have been about 30 people in that house, or were there a couple of houses? Um, the, the numbers, it's, it's, it's sort of hard. You know, initially you're told that there are 30 people that perish. You probably have somewhere anywhere between 20 to 30. Um, so it's just that house in the area, or were there other? As you're coming up the creek, they're securing the homes. So they might have stopped here, bayoneted the occupants, or held them under guard so they couldn't sound an alarm. Mm -hmm. Because as you're coming up, now you've blown your cover. Right. Um, and the discussion yesterday had been that it could take 12 hours. Simco thought he had six hours to get people up through the area, um, when in fact he only had about four and a half. So then he ended up changing his location because he was stuck out in the Delaware River and coming up here, which was not the ideal location. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think that's the part that's really interesting. The stories keep changing, you know, and not necessarily because it's because there's new information right. or a different perspective that comes in and says, wow, if you could be a fly on the wall. Right. Hancock's a loyalist. He's one of, it's a home invasion of wrong. Right. 